How's it going guys? Welcome back to GKP. I've just been over to Wakefield Koi to pick up my new fish. A little Hiyotsuri. I'm going to guess around 30 cm. Maybe maybe a pinch, 30 cm I reckon. Um, I'm going to get it brought out. I'm going to get it floating on the pond. And I'm going to give it a PP buff. And when I give it a PP buff, it's going to go in the pond. Um, it's been quarantined, it's been through the shop, Wayfield Coy's, George's quarantine system, no other problems, no other fish with problems in the shop. I'm happy for this fish to go dropped in. Um, I don't really want to be sticking in a seven weeks quarantine. So on this occasion with a PP buff and a trusted supplier, it's going to go straight in. So let's get it opened up, let's have a quick look at it. Let's get it put out, get it floating on the pond. I'm going to give it a 30 to a 35 minute uh, acclimation. And then we'll get it into a bowl. We'll get it, give it a, a good 20 minute or so PP bath. And then when it's had a good 20 minute or so PP bath, we're we'll going in the main pond. So let's get cracking. Here we are guys. We haven't opened it up yet. It's still in, still boxed up, still in the bag. But this is... Um, one of the fish, if you've all seen Humber Koi, it's Aaron's video that he did with the little pond, uh, sponsored prom uh, sorry, the little pr promotion uh, video he did for George at Wakefield Koi. But this is how well you get your fish boxed up and packaged up from George at Wakefield Koi. Bearing in mind guys, I'm literally only 15-20 miles from him, if that. But, taped up. In a box, marked up fragile, and then here we are, double bagged with oxygen in, and there is my new Yitsuri. I reckon it might be about 30 m, maybe a little shy. A nice little fish, quite a nice, even pattern, even balanced pattern. Got one black peck, one orange peck with a little bit of a streak on it. Quite a nice little fish. So even in this and around this as well, we've got some bubble wrap seated onto the bottom of the box so that the fish is well supported for packaging. Double bag. So there it is. There is a little here at Sura. Go on, turn around. There we go. Nice little fish. So we're going to get this floating on the pond and we'll let it acclimate for a good 30 to 35 minutes. Oh, we'll just pop it in down there and let it go say hello to everybody. And I'll get back to you once that has acclimated to the temperature of my pond. We're then going to put it into a treatment bowl and we're going to give it a PP bath. And then it's going to get release into the pond. So, for now, I'm going to go put kettle on, make myself a quick coffee, and then I'm going to uh, get back with you in a bit. See you soon. Right guys, so, the uh, here, sorry, has now been uh, acclimating for over yeah, 40 minutes. Everything's looking good in there, so what I'm going to do now, First of all, get rid of this box. Now I've got a bit of room again on the floor. I'm going to get the ball out and we're going to mix up a pee pee and then we're going to put it here, pop out the airstone, drop it in the bowl. And we're going to give the fish a pee pee bath. So bear with me one second. Right guys, we've got a bottle of potassium pentanganate by NT Labs and we're going to go for a dip treatment and the dip treatment says, um, well first of all it says do not leave an attended dip when during dip treatment but we're going to go with the dip treatment which is 10 mil to 8 gallons or 36 litres. So, and then it says there, if required this treatment can be safely repeated daily as required. 
This is a strong treatment and recommended for treating large external parasites including lice and leeches as, as a disinfectant for ulcers and open wounds. But I'm making sure, if we can, to make sure that it's clean and we've got no on it. Just to double check, just to, it's what, I, it's what I've always done when adding a fish in. So, we're going to do the dip treatment, no more than 30 minutes. And we're going to do it with uh, 10 mil. I don't know if you're going to be able to focus on that. 10 mil to 8 gallons, which is 36 litres. So, I'm going to get 36 litres of water in there. And I'm going to drop 10 mil in. And then we're going to bag this, get this fish out. I'm going to pop that air stone in and I'm going to put my net over the top of the of the, the actual uh, bowl itself. I'll show you the net when I'm ready. And then we're going to drop the air stone in and we're going to give it a treatment. It gets myself set back up guys and I'll get back to you in a tick. So there we go guys. That's 36 litres and I know that by... I'll show you, show you quickly. You can get these buckets and don't obviously. Inside the bucket there. It says 10 litres to that line, so three of them, and then the plus the six gives me my 36 litres. All I'm going to do now is I am putting this water in my pond, and I'm not putting that water in there because then that will increase the dosage. This is pond water, um, and then I've got a net to go over the top. Got an air stone in, bubbling away. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop that in there, pop the fish in, give it a couple of minutes, and after a couple of minutes, I'm then going to put the treatment in and then it's going to stay in there for 30 minutes while I'm studying with it the net over the top to make sure everything's all right any sign of any problems or anything like that the fish will be coming out and it'll be going straight into this bowl which I'm going to bang in a couple of litres of water in so that I can give it a quick rinse off so it's going from the PP water so just get myself set up with this one too yeah, we're going straight into this measuring bowl then and I can take the fish out of there into this one give it a quick dip and a rinse make sure it's all right and then I'm transferring it to the main pond so give me a second while I get this fish into that because I want to pop this one in here get a bit of water in there but we're good to go for a transfer and then returning it to the main pond then here we go guys let's just pop this stone out so I can have a quick look there's the new fish. Nice little heat sorry. Nice pattern. So, next job, pee pee back. Let's see if we can get it to just turn around and come this way a little bit. And we can have a look at it together. There we go. Nice little fish that, nice little pattern. Well, I'll happy with that. So let's get the PP treatment in and get it in for its 30 minute PP bath. There we go guys. It's in the treatment now. Net's nice and tight. All the way around of it. Fish cart jump out. Little pull cord on it. Nice and tight round ball. And in we go there now for 30 minutes. So 25 past, job done. But plenty of oxygen in there. It's in for 30 minutes unless I see fit to take it out for any other reason. And that's uh, what we're using is the NT Labs pre-mixed potassium protagonate. Brilliant stuff. <clears throat> so obviously you guys don't want to stand here for 30 minutes with me while I do this. But what I'm going to do, keep my eye on it, make sure everything's okay. And they're going to get a, a top up of fresh water in this one. Bang a couple of buckets in there. I can take it out of here, give it a couple of minutes in there from there, then return into the pond. I'll just give these a little bit of a feed. Because they were all going crazy around, swimming around like they're nudging and they wanted a bit of something to eat. We've got this bowl good to go now. 30 litres in there. 36 litres in here with a fish. Everything's doing fine, fish are just down here, looking happy as Larry, no sign of struggling or anything yet. So we're all good so far, and we're uh, 10 minutes in, so I'll get back to you again. I'm just going to watch these, have a little bit of summer tweet, and keep my eye on that one. Back to you in a bit. 
All right, here we are, guys. There it is. It's just had its uh, quick BP buff. I'm saying quick. That's uh, 27 minutes when it started coming to the top. Started uh, looking a little bit like it wasn't struggling, but like it was trying to get out. So before the struggling came, and before it looked like things were going to go start going wrong or going pear shaped, I took it out and we've moved it out. So we're going to see if we can get a little measure on it. We're going to be good enough to measure us yourself for us. Hopefully, you know, it's so not going to be nowhere near uh, 22 cm. It was way off the 30 mark, but 22 cm is a nice little fish, nice pattern, nice head pattern. Yeah, a nice little profile. So there is my new Yatsuri. So there we go. There it is, just out underneath that. We'll uh, let it settle in. <coughs> Just tipped all the uh, <laughs> PP treatment. It made a little bit of a bit of a mess in the middle of the forest back, but we'll let them settle in now and leave it be. And now I have three more fish that I want: a red kajaku, a. <clears throat> Yamabuki Ogon and the last one a key Mizi Ogon or whatever the orange one's called I forget the name of it but the uh, New Forest Koi Rick's does them does them in like an orange and in a yellow with a nice little zip down the back I forgot the Mizi Ogons I think Mizioken, Mizioken and a key Mizioken. So the yellow and the uh, the orange one. But now I actually have a nice little Hiatsura and instead of uh, a low Hiatsura, which is my Akabeko. <laughs> Still be keeping the Akabeko though, I quite like that fish. Even though it's not the best, I like it. And that's what it's about, guys. It's settling in. See how he does. Keep me on him for a little while while I'm out here now. But it's got a nice, nice little pattern on it. Quite like that. Hopefully. Oh, and well, well, one other thing. <clears throat> while I was waiting for the uh, the heat Suri and the PP bath, I gave um, and that's about Matsukawa back here a bowl back up to have a look at her because she had lost a lot of weight we're not eating. And I just wanted to check her over and make sure everything's good. And she's put a CM on. I measured her up when she went back in at 36, and now she's measured in 37. So, that's pretty damn good to say that she, but she has been eating like hell. But hopefully, she continues to grow. And I'm half tempted to bowl a few others, but I'm gonna leave them be. Put a new fish in, let them settle. Let them uh, chill out and uh, we'll have a, a good look at them come tomorrow morning. So guys, <clears throat> if you could do us a huge favour, we're getting ever closer, ever closer now to the 2000 mark. We need about 400 and 450 summit I think, or 400, no 448 subscribers is what I need, something like that. If you could do is a huge favour guys, help me to grow this channel. I've been set a little challenge in the hope to try to get to 2000 by Christmas. You never know, with your guys help. I'm, uh, I can only say thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined me and to anybody who chooses to join me for the rest of this journey. Massive thanks to you all. The usual thing guys, if you're enjoying this kind of content, please do us a huge favour. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And until next time guys, keep smiling, we'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.